Hey, this is King David for David and Goliath Music, and what I want to do is help you create some really great endings to your song. Um, sometimes you have a part that you want to fade out the ending of the song, right? And you have several parts that you need to fade out at the same time. So let's go ahead and play the ending, and I'm going to show you how you can get the same fade out done on your system. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and highlight the area I'm going to fade, which is the ending of the song. I'm going to hit play. Listen to it. Okay, now the problem is that that symbol is playing over and I want it to fade out with the rest of the music. So watch what I have to do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the correct tool to do my work, which is going to be the paintbrush tool. Or I could use the pencil tool. Then what I'm going to do is pull in my zoom tool and zoom directly into the area that I want to work. Just drag the la drag the zoom tool over it. Okay? I'm going to go back to my paint tool and go to my pull down menu on the wave that I need to change the volume. All right, and we're going to pull down until we see automate. And we're, then we're going to left click on volume, automate volume. Okay? Now, what this allows us to do is to uh, create volume points where we can change the volume of that single wave. Okay, now a right click will create what I would call a point or an edit point. All right, so you may want to use several right clicks just to give you more flexibility over your entire envelope. Okay. What I'm going to do is bring it down so I can match the envelope that's above it. And I'm going to begin to create an envelope just by pulling down those points that I created. That is smooth and consistent with the other envelope. Now the less points, the, the, more con uh, the less control you have. The more points, the more control you have. Okay. So I wanted to give it more control. What, did that, what does that mean? Basically it means I wanted to have more control over how the volume was decreased over time. That's what an envelope is. It's a, a way of changing the audio over time. Okay. So now I've made my wave. It's a little bit jaggedy, you know. Um, so what I want to do then is go to these tension points or these round balls and then use that to make my curve smooth. Okay. So if it needs to go up, I can make it go up. Again, the more detail, the more accurate your mix will sound. More detail, more accurate. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Now what I want to do is hear what it sounds like. Okay, now originally this sound, which is a, a suspended cymbal, kept playing throughout the end of the song. Now it's going to fade out with the rest of the audio. So let's hear what it sounds like without this, and then we'll go ahead and put it back on. Once you create an envelope, you can move it, take it away, do whatever you want to do. I'm taking it away for just a brief second. I'm going to hit play. You're going to hear that symbol keep on playing at the end. All right, now if we did the envelope right, it should tell that symbol to to slowly over time release that audio. All right, let's see if that does it. Ready? And it did it just beautifully. It cut out with the other audio. And that's a great way to create an ending to a song. All right. Now, let me play just a portion of this track. I can't play the whole thing. This is actually uh, a song that's coming out pretty soon now. So here it is. Listen to this.
okay that's all I can give you King David David and Goliath music uh, that's how you can create um, an envelope at the end of your song to change and close out your song and smoothly transition to the end of the song alright King David David and Goliath music be class.com one love